have it please and you need to have the guts to take it also the whole world keeps telling takoli appa takoli appa takolage namke dhairya beku illanda takondre prayojana varalla ತಂದೆ ತಾಯಿಗಳು ಜಮೀನುಗಳು ಇಟ್ಕೊಂಡಿದ್ದು ಯಾರಿಗೋಸ್ಕರ ಕಾನೂನು ಪ್ರಕಾರ ದಿ ಹವ್ ಸೆಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟಿ ಆಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ದ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ತಂದೆ ತಾಯಿ ತೀರೋ ತಂಗ ನೀವು ತಗೊಂಡು ಹೋಗಬಾರ್ದು ಯು ಕೆನಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಯು ಕೆನಾಟ್ ಡಿಮ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ದ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟಿ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಯುವರ್ ಪ್ಯಾರೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಬಟ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಇಟ್ ಬಟ್ ಅದು ಜಮೀನು ತಗೋಬೇಕು ಅಂದರು ನನಗೆ ಅಷ್ಟು ಒಂದು ಶಕ್ತಿ ಇರಬೇಕು ಯಾವುದು ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತಿ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಆ ಜಮೀನು ಇನ್ನೂ ಒಂದು ಡಬಲ್ ಹಾಕೋಕ್ಕೆ ಇಲ್ಲ ಆ ಜಮೀನು ಒಂದು ಲಕ್ಷ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಆ ಜಮೀನಿಗೆ ಕೊಡೋಕ್ಕೆ ನನಗೆ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಇರಬೇಕು ಆವಾಗ ಮಾತ್ರ ತಗೋಬೇಕು ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ರಾಕುಂಜಿ ನಿಮಗೆ ಒಂದು ಕೆಲಸ ಕೊಟ್ಟರೆ ಸೆಂಪಾಯಿಸ್ ಒಂದು ಕೆಲಸ ಕೊಟ್ಟರೆ ಹಾಸ್ಟೆಲ್ ವಾರ್ಡನ್ನು ಕೆಲಸ ಕೊಟ್ಟರೆ ನೀವು ಕೆಲಸ ತಗೊಂಡ್ರೆ ಅಯ್ಯೋ ಕರ್ಮಯೋಗಪ್ಪ ನಾನು ಕರ್ಮಯೋಗಿ ಆಗಿದ್ದು ನನಗೆ ಕೆಲಸ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದು ಅಯ್ಯಮ್ಮ ಕರ್ಮಯೋಗಿ ಇಲ್ಲ ನನಗೆ ಯಾರು ಕೆಲಸ ಕೊಡ್ತು ಖುಷಿ ಪಡಬೇಕು ಆ ಕೆಲಸನಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ಕೆಲಸ ಕೊಟ್ಟರೆ ಹತ್ತು ಸಾವಿರ ಕೆಲಸ ಫಿನಿಷ್ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಂಡು ಬರೋಕ್ಕೆ ಆ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಇಟ್ಕೋಬೇಕು ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಒಂದು ಕಲೆ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟೇಷನ್ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ಅವರು ಮಾತ್ರ ಮನುಷ್ಯರು ದೇ ಆರ್ ದ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಆರ್ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಬೀಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಅದರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ leaving a little dead objects try to understand this is very beautiful and uh, a very very important point in everybody's life albert durer born on 21st may 1471 in nuremberg in germany died on 6th april 1528 in nuremberg was a german painter printmaker and theorist of the german renaissance albert durer said art is embedded in nature and they can extract it have it extraction is observation avaru helthare orange juice is there orange juice extract the juice means and squeeze maadu veku yaar the juice whose juice your juice extract the juice from your body every day the last talent from your body to be extracted and give back to the nature <sighs> and then you can breathe beautifully our health are orange juice are in the sharira and the earth are pratya and the juice are poured squeeze it up the last drop then you can breathe and go beautifully and when and what you have eaten totally you have squeezed it up and you are given it back to the nature another one beautiful orange you you orange tree will grow that is the beautiful circle yes they call it a recycle art is embedded in nature prakrutinalli art art means samskruti art means satya art means god truth god and values and your samskruti your culture is embedded means it is in every every part of nature in the grass in the soil in the sunlight in the wind in the rain water in your juniors seniors in your brothers sisters in your latest joint family family tree everywhere you can see that's why india is the only one country the hindu country which tells everything what you see is god and people suspected the hindus for going mad god means everything is in nature they they enjoy the artistic value because the god the culture the nature has created that human body the first human your body alone is such a beautiful art picasso nobody can challenge such a beautiful look at the eyes and not only the drawing the your eyes it is working so beautifully you can see so many things and make you so happy what a beautiful art everything is invented when you practice thousand times 100000 times 500000 times you become a master 
Hundred thousand times makes you a master. They say, and five hundred thousand times you own that particular thing. And once you own it, it gets embedded in every cell of your brain. And the time comes, it strikes you without thinking, and the flows without thinking. Have you heard that one? Guruji was telling. But it is being conscious till when you are an observant. Art is embedded in nature. Agar prakar din ali, aw adh kosh kara din ali ter nimte thai agli appa agli nodu aga. Oh, yen ta kalle, what a beautiful art! The eyes, the noses. Ah, aw shadi ter din ali, bai din ali. Ah, what is coming out from the mouth of your parents? Of your wife, or your husband, or your children, or your relatives, or the sound is gospel of truth. That is gospel of truth which you cannot find in Bhagavad Gita, Quran, or a Bible. Once you understood this one, Bhagavad Gita, Quran, and the Bible is just a beautiful song. The whole body starts loving and enjoying. Otherwise, you become a backstab. You become fanatic, and that's where ugliness comes. Are they dull? Art is embedded in it, and they who can extract it have it. All questionally, when the art, all the great art, the answer all the great art, the truth all the great art, the devil all the great art. That new thing, okay? On that the reason of extracting art, go into the arrow leaves the the bow leaves. The arrow leaves the bow. Le the bow and the arrow is all about Bhagavad Gita. The arrow leaves the bow. It might not hit the target, but you will not miss it. It seems. And the arrow hogo then the target hit the maybe agella. But at travel time, if you are observant, what I can try to understand that. So, pratyek on the kalle madhu aga, please be observant. I stay here. The Albert Durer was trying to tell, be observant. What if they paint? I always like painters, of course, because they and nature is always one. They are drug addicted. You can call. It. They are drugged with the nature. The yeah, nature and they are like an alcohol for them. Art is embedded in nature, and they who can extract it have it. You have it. If you can extract every part of what you are doing, money is yours, richness is yours. 